Hi everyone, I'm Scott Davenport. This is the first in a series of videos about Luminar 3. The goal of this series is to get you up and running fast with Luminar 3, understand libraries, how to edit your photos, and how to share them with the world. This video, we're going to concentrate on the library module. This is the new asset management that's part of Luminar 3. Now, when you first start Luminar 3, the software will take you through a series of steps to get your catalog set up. Now, there's two main choices you have to make where to store your catalog. That's the information that Luminar will track about your photos, ratings, any edits you make to it and things like that. And secondly, where are your photos? You need to point Luminar at a folder of photos so we can go find them and then show them to you all in your catalog. If you ever want to add another folder of images, just go to the upper left corner and you have an add folder option. So you can point Luminar at another set of folders on your computer and have them added in. Now, real quick brief tour of the interface here. We've got our toolbars across the top. You've got all your previews here for all the photos that are in your catalog. You can hide things, you can show things, you can do all sorts of the normal stuff you would expect to do with an asset manager. And on the right hand side, we have a few other controls. You have shortcuts, albums, and folders. Let's look at folders first. These are all the folders that are on my computer. So I pointed Luminar at this pictures folder and had a set of subfolders in it. Luminar found all those, showed them to me, added them to the catalog, and any changes that I make here, if I rename these folders instead of maybe Japan, perhaps it was only Tokyo, I could rename this to Tokyo, that's reflected on my computer as well. So Luminar keeps those things in sync. If you make changes on your folder structure on your computer, Luminar will recognize that and reorganize accordingly. So it does a nice job of keeping those things aligned and in sync. Another thing that happens when you bring photos into a Luminar catalog is the shortcuts area gets populated. All photos get subdivided into dates. So Luminar has scanned all the photos and it's realized I have some photos from 2016, some photos from 2015, 2017, and so on. So it makes these series of date-based shortcuts. So if you're looking for images from a particular year, you can quickly find them. And you can drill down farther into the individual months as well. Luminar 3 also has the concept of albums. Now these are curated collections of photos. And let's say I selected these things here. I'm using the command or control key to select multiple photos. And these all have oceans in them. So I could make an album and perhaps I would call it seascapes. And now if I ever want to go back and see my seascapes, I have that folder here. If I return to all of my photos and I find another one that I want to add to that album, I can simply drag and drop it and it's added to the album. So very typical standard asset management facilities are built into Luminar 3. With your individual photos, you have a few options as well for ranking them, making them picks, and so forth. Notice as I hover over these different images, you can see there's small badges on the bottoms of these. I can flag things as favorites. I can add star ratings to them. I have a few other options as well. Let's look at a couple of the other interface changes that we can make to make ranking our images easier. I'll press the space bar and the interface is going to show me a much larger preview of my photo. And I also have access to the different types of settings I can apply. I can apply color labels, I can mark it as a pick or a favorite, and I can give it a star rating. I can also delete the photo right here if I wanted to as well. On the left hand side, notice now we have a, a film strip, a vertical film strip. We can still quickly scan through all of the other photos that are in this catalog. Now for ranking, I will tend to hover my fingers over the one to five and my hand, my right hand over the arrow key. So as I move through a set of photos, I'm gonna rank this as a four. I press the four key and I press the arrow and I've moved on to another photo. Uh, this one, it can be a three. This one, I got some vignetting here, probably need some work on that. It's a three and so on down the line. So you can quickly move through your entire set of photos and apply them a ranking. You could do the same with color labels. They have shortcuts as well. These are all industry standard ones, six, seven, eight, nine for color labels. None gets a dash and purple. Well, you've got to go click on that one. That's the only option that we have for assigning purple to a photo. Pressing the G key to return to the grid mode. I want to point out two other things about the interface. Number one, we have some 
showing options. We can filter on some of those rankings. So if I do three stars or more, now I'll only see those photos that I added some type of ranking to. Also, if I return to all photos, I can sort by capture time, edit time. If you've done edits on your photo, you can find those. Ratings, pics, color labels, and so forth. You know, all these different types of sorting options here. So you can very quickly using these filters and then you know the, the different types of sorting options to find the photos that you're most interested in. If you're looking for individual information about a photo, we can select it and open up the info tab. You get some basic information about your histogram as well as the details of the camera settings. So if you're looking for that EXIF data, you know, how did I shoot this photo and what was my aperture setting and so forth, that information is available right here in the library module. One more thing you can do directly in the library module is apply styles to the photos. Pressing the space bar again to get that full view, notice that the toolbar has changed. I have a few options here and one of them is showing me the different looks or presets that we have in Luminar. So Luminar comes with a whole bunch of different categories set up and if we choose essentials and let's just do a contrast enhancer on this. I can apply this directly in the library module without going into edit. If all I'm looking for is a quick look for the photo, you can do some very uh, complex yet quick edits in the library module itself. So that is the overview of libraries in Luminar 3. You can add photos to the catalog, sort them, rank them, create albums, manage all of your photos right within the Luminar interface. And Skylum has said they are coming out with more features in the coming months for libraries. So I expect to see more asset management capabilities added very soon. Now stick around. I've got a couple other videos about editing photos in Luminar 3. Hope you'll enjoy those. My name is Scott Davenport. Thanks for watching.